Okay, so it is Wednesday, June 17th. I feel like time is just going by so fast. I just need a, I need a minute to slow down. I am so excited because since my naturopath said that probiotics were basically the main issue in my skin, what I thought would be a good idea, gonna do a whole week of just consuming kefir, full on like probiotic rich kefir. But the thing is, is I am going to be making it myself. So it's gonna be homemade, totally vegan, coconut milk based kefir. But I have on the ground my coconut kefir maker. So basically, it like trains your probiotics to survive in body temperature because the majority of probiotic pills it basically just can't travel enough because our acidity and our body heat is so strong that it completely kills off a lot of supplements that we do take so and including probiotics hence why a lot of probiotics do not work um, and also they're super expensive so I thought this would be a really good way to kind of it's actually warming up okay this is the first time I've like did this before that's why I didn't make a recipe this first time so if you want a recipe for how I make my coconut kefir I will definitely definitely um make that I mean it's really really simple but this is what it looks like and then yeah and then I just put it in this little handy box that warms up or in a box um, pouch and yeah so basically you just let that ferment eight hours minimum or you could do three days up to three days so yeah right now I'm just waiting this is how my skin is looking right now yeah, again, I'm still trying to figure out my skin. Still trying to make it, you know, clear and get my gut in check. Um, yeah, throughout the week, I'm just gonna be updating you how I feel about this coconut kefir thing going on. And yeah, I think it's super exciting. I'm just, I'm so excited. Cause I feel like this might be a winner winner. So anyway, I will update you if this actually works because this is my first time ever making it. And yeah, I will let you know and uh, show you the final product, hopefully when it's done. Ah! It is 12.54 a.m., so pretty much 1 a.m. Don't ask why it's so late. <laughs> it's Thursday. Same day, technically. I mean, I'm still I, I'm still awake. <laughs> but basically, I just finished my coconut kefir, and then I just let it cool in the fridge. It looks like this, so it's separated. I just kind of wanted to show that. But anyway, it looks completely cool. It looks so weird. Uh, I'm going to read the instructions one more time, but probably say that for a later video. Because right now, we are testing to actually just, like, consume it and hope for the best that I'll get clear skin and also maybe help manage weight all that stuff more other health benefits that's what i want right now <laughs> See, i'm just gonna shake it up consume it and then hopefully this stuff be clear because again it's a probiotic issue and i just don't think my pills are working so i'm just like okay hey, we just need to go for the full out we're gonna have to make our own probiotic from scratch so there we go coconut kefir i'm just gonna do like a quick taste test to see how this actually tastes like on its own and if it doesn't taste that good then we could just add some sweetener i think they said we can just to make it our own kind of customized flavor. Yeah, this is the moment of truth. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna try a bit. This is like super, super high fat. Like, this is literally just pure fat. Oh, it's bubbly. Okay, so hopefully that's the probiotics and not just me, like, from shaking it up. I, oh god. Oh, I almost died. I saw, like, a big mosquito. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so hopefully this will, like, be probiotic. Oh, this tastes so good. It tastes like cream cheese. Like if coconut was made into a cream cheese, this is exactly what it would taste like. And it tastes so good. I'm drinking cheesecake. Okay, so basically it's sweet like coconut milk, but then it just tastes like a bit tart, obviously because of the probiotics. This turned out so good. I'm very happy. So hopefully my skin will be happy too. We shall see. And I'm gonna just keep fermenting away every single day. But yeah. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> so it is the next day. I'm waking up and okay, so I haven't consumed any probiotics yet. I consumed basically like a whole bottle yesterday and I just wake up and I'm like so... <laughs> oh yeah, and this is a very TMI video, so click off if you do not want. This whole channel is just a complete TMI mess. <laughs> anyway, so um, I just felt super like gassy and very like bloated, not bloated, just very like gassy. <laughs> like all day yesterday and like my stomach kind of gurgled and then all day like this morning like all day like so far today it's like 10 a.m. right now it's Friday and yeah I'm just feeling very like gurgly right now but the awesome thing is I wake up and I feel like my face feels just so rejuvenated like just in general I feel like my skin like my acne doesn't really hurt and there's no underneath acne I don't know if it's just me but I feel like right away immediately almost my skin is like getting better <laughs> the only thing is is Again, my stomach, it just feels a bit off. But other than that, like, I can't complain. Like, my skin is, like, feeling really nice right now. So I don't know if it's placebo, but I'll definitely get back to you. I'll keep you updated, and that's just how I feel. 
Uh, my stomach again just feels like it's moving <laughs> kind of constantly. I haven't took any probiotics yet though. And yeah, just kind of <laughs> kind of gassy. <laughs> Other than that, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. That's kind of how I feel, but yeah. Okay, so it is Monday. I'm about to go to bed, but I thought I would do a probiotic update. I guess this is what my skin is currently looking like right now. So I'm getting a lot of acnes, and apparently one of the side effects of um, introducing probiotics back into your diet is acne and like gurgling in the stomach and stuff. So I'm gonna keep pushing through with this probiotic because the first few days they were like full on gurgling, like my stomach was just not used to the probiotics, that was a good sign. And then now like the more I'm using it, I'm at a point where I'll chug a bunch of probiotics and I won't feel anything. So I feel like my body is slowly becoming in the right stage of getting used to the probiotics. And then it's just acne though that's like occurring right now. So I really don't know what's going on. We, we will see, I'm getting mixed messages from these probiotics right now. So I don't know, I'll keep you updated what happens with my skin. <laughs> okay, so it is Tuesday morning, it's 9 a.m. Basically this is my kefir and I blended it with some banana and some fruit. Um, it's so good, it literally just tastes like an adult Activia drink or like Yop or something. <laughs> but just like this is the actual healthy version because there's no added sugars, it's just all natural from the coconut and the fruit and sugar really helps ferment and speed up the fermentation process. Meanwhile, there's only natural sugars where where's like your typical dairy yogurt yogurt drinks and all that They add a lot of sugar. So this is definitely most likely a better alternative. This is what my skin's looking like I feel like it calmed down a bit like I feel like it's at a stage Hopefully where it's just kind of like again. This might be a purging phase as my body actually feels like oh my gosh <laughs> It's literally squirted everywhere. It continues to ferment even after you store it in the fridge. So I think it like the bubbles, it like bubbles up. <laughs> it's so thick, it like won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> do not put any <laughs> do not put any nasty comments. I'm gonna put some ex more coconut milk in this just to loosen it up because it's honestly so thick. It's so sour and so tart. So that's like the thing that you want. I'm just continuing to ferment. This is just gonna keep going and going and I'm very uh, excited and curious to see how my skin will turn out. It is Wednesday, June 24th. I am here to cool. <laughs> I look like such a mess right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't take myself seriously. I never can take myself seriously. Okay, so basically, I plan to go for a run later, so that's why I don't really care what I look like right now. Anyway, this is this is a new look. Anyway, so I um in conclusion of this probiotic journey, so I'm actually about to make a lot of like kefir right now. So I'm letting my probiotic, so like it's just cooling right now completely. And on top of that, I also bought this like fermented soy product. So this is basically 100% probiotics. It is mango flavor. Flavor. This thing, oh my god, it's like $60 for like, I don't even know how many you get, like 12 drinks, so this is not cheap. And then also I'm just like letting my fermented uh, coconut cool down completely. And then I also was drinking this the past few days. I still have some left. This literally tastes like you're drinking straight up sour cream. If you blend it with like fruit, then it does taste like kind of um, like a cheesecake almost. So I feel like it is kind of acting up but at the same time I can't be mad because it's not like flaring or anything like it yeah it's not flaring so I can't be mad at it considering that I did drastically reduce my B5 intake I have a lot of breakouts right now happening and then there's a cystic thing right here so I have like a few cystic pimples going on right now and also I just got off the phone with my naturopath this morning because it was a one month update for my skin so basically what she's recommending is I continue this probiotic stuff I also bought this is the HMF intensive them taking Right now I can link this down below but this is the probiotic supplement that I'm taking in hopes again to get my skin back on track and she says that you might actually purge like this actually might be like a legit purge not the purge that I thought I was doing when I first went plant-based but this is an actual purge that like your skin will most likely get worse before it gets better when it's trying to clear out and like reset your microbiome like it's kind of detoxing I guess kick-starting and like trying to um, get good bacteria back into your gut and with that you may experience purging that's pretty much what she was saying. I think I'm gonna make a whole video though I'm gonna be posting this Sunday exactly what she's gonna say. I think I'm gonna make it like an updated naturopath video Yeah, we're just gonna plow through this and continue my probiotic journey And I want to keep you updated with my naturopath and also what I'm gonna be doing I might be doing the baking soda challenge just to see if my stomach acids are in check So I think I'm gonna make a whole video on that as well. So stay tuned for that That is a big thing when it comes to acne. You may have a weak stomach acid So I'll go into that later, but as of now we're working on probiotics 
products just kind of getting a nice good um home <laughs> for my gut yeah anyway so this is what my skin is looking like so it's not like clear or anything but i definitely think again like since my naturopath did say that i might be purging this might be that because i'm getting acne in just like really weird places that i don't typically get like i'm used to like my temple acne i'm used to like acne on the jawline which i don't have so it's weird it's just like on the cheeks and then around the chin and, like some on the upper lip which i never get so i feel like this might be a good sign that my body is just kind of changing and adapting and other than that i can't really update too too much other than i'll keep you updated with all my probiotics right now i'm gonna be taking and yeah this is very exciting i am very anxious to get this show on the road these better be worth it yeah i'm gonna sign off here and i'm going to um finish making my probiotics as of now when i consume the probiotics i'm not feeling any weird gurgling or bloating or anything like i feel very fine whereas compared to like the first few days of taking probiotics and my kefir like my stomach was crazy and it just did not like it so now i'm kind of building up that tolerance and i feel like and yeah like i think it's just a matter of killing off any bad bacteria once i have built like a good home for my good probiotics to live in and then we can start focusing on killing off the bad bacteria i'm gonna go for a run now so yes Anyway, yeah, look at all these uh, containers. I'm going to be uh, storing all of my um, kefir drinks in. This is so fun. This is adulting. This is what I do for fun. Okay. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I will leave it off here. Hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you're watching this. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video I post. All my social media links will be linked down below, as well as my second YouTube channel. If you don't know, hello, my name is Sonia. I'm a music producer, and I produce music. So, if EDM pop, uh, beat brown, C pop music, Music is your thing definitely consider subscribing it would mean the world to, it would mean the world to me and I will see you in the next video okay peace <laughs>